Hey, Flower Kid here. This video idea, I've been trying to wrap my head around this for so long because the topic is so important that it's it's changing our our online culture as we speak. And it probably already has changed, but I'm, I'm just trying to like make sure I can put it in a video nicely wrapped for you guys to digest this information correctly. So to start this off, tell me what your what, what do you think a cartoon is? And you might be thinking Amazing World of Gumball, SpongeBob, or even Teen Titans Go. But let me tell you something. I think the word cartoon is changing for the better. I I'm not saying the word itself is changing or the definition, but I'm saying our perception of that word is changing. So to use this as this as a reference, look at Punch Kid Forever and Big Top Burger. Those two are just point and case cartoons. And when you think about it, they weren't made by a big company or or someone who was like, hey, I have a bunch of money, let's just make something. They were made by a single individual, also with help by their side, but they were made by one person. So you have to think, does that mean cartoons can be anything? And I think that's why I'm, I'm starting to realize that cartoons aren't just SpongeBob and Amazing World of Gumball that were on TV. They're also on YouTube. And the best part is that they're free. And there's obviously downsides to this because not everything, not everything is going to be like happy and go lucky and you can make all these episodes without a care in the world. There has to be some money involved or some time and effort put into it. But I'm just starting to realize that you don't need a company to make a cartoon. And I think that's the best thing. That's the, that's the, that's amazing because we've already realized that games you don't need a company to make a game. With music, oh, we've already we've already we've already have like an indie section, an indie genre for music. I'm not gonna lie to you, I feel like we already peaked with music. I think the two next things are indie games and indie cartoons. And the best part, these cartoons are not being censored, they're not being controlled, and they're not being watched or monitored. They can do whatever they want. And that's the best part, that these cartoons can have have freedom to express themselves not like other cartoons that are trapped under big companies take for instance bluey the whole debacle about how the american version removes the talk about having a baby is so insane to me like censorship is so stupid it's it's we're getting to a point where almost everything is censored but hey you know who cares at this point i'm i'm here for the youtube indie train and talking about big companies i want to remind you guys of something that was a very big topic and kind of died down a little bit but it still has a lasting effect and that was the hbo max purge when almost all those cartoons got just erased done for and it was like the saddest thing to ever hear because one of the cartoons i was really hoping that got another season was infinity train season five but it really didn't get that next season that we needed and it just makes me reinforce the fact that companies don't really care they only care for how much money they gain from it or how many people are watching it now this is not all said for all companies because remember netflix and inside job inside job was a really good Good cartoon almost everyone was waiting for season three but the show just didn't have enough eyes on it not enough more than big mouth wow, how surprising almost everyone talks about goddamn big and since it didn't have enough retention and viewership it got canned even though it was a good show it doesn't save it from the fact that companies just don't see the profit out of it so that's pretty much why i think indie shows and indie cartoons are the way forward forward because i've been finding a bunch of cartoons we have punch forever big top burger little pootis we have wrench monkey wrench bridge kids there's so many other cartoons that it just makes you just want to smile at the fact that there's so many and yet you have to also wonder can you do it yourself and that's yes you can make cartoons yourself and the best thing about it is that there's a lot of free software out there that 
can help you make these cartoons and that there's free platforms for you to broadcast these cartoons to. Like think about it. You have YouTube, which is a free platform that you can upload anything. You have DaVinci Resolve to edit anything you need or to put effects. And you have Blender, you have Krita, you have almost a lot of things for you to succeed and to learn to make your own cartoon. And a lot of it is about willpower and time. Let's be honest here, making a cartoon is not gonna happen in a day. I mean, that's the reason why so many cartoons just don't see the light of day. Because a lot of people don't have time to put all their art, money, and just everything into the cartoon. Which is why we do sometimes use big companies to get what we want. You know, we trade our time for money and help and support. But I want to normalize that making cartoons can be for, for free. You can just do it for free, you know, because a lot of stuff you can do can be on your own. There's a lot of free resources on the Internet for you to make whatever you want. I like for me, take for me instance, I it took me ten dollars, but I've I got a doll that's that's a digital online workshop that's named Ableton and I made an album with it and I've made the cover art with Blender that's it it was ten dollars and it took me that that much and I've I made something that on my own and I was so happy and so stoked that people actually went to it and listened to it that's the best part seeing that people actually listen to your music was incredible some people didn't finish it obviously but it's the fact that you can do something and you have control of it over it and you can show people it i've also been making graphic art designs and here's a couple that i've made i've been posting them on my art twitter so if you want to support me go to my art twitter or go to my regular twitter and maybe subscribe while you're here but yeah everything i did was to a goal i had at the end of the year and one of those goals was to make a video game which i am I am still making a video game. I'm just I'm get, I'm gearing myself up for it because I still want to make video for you guys and get to 5,000 subscribers. I don't know if I can still get there, but I'm hoping that with my ideas and my brain that I could probably do it. So I'm gonna keep reaching for that goal. But just thank you guys for watching this video. It means a lot. I want you guys to know that being being an indie developer of any sorts is amazing whether it's music cartoon art anything just you doing it on your own is so empowering and i want more people to be like hey if you got the will and time go learn it and i want to i want to i just want to make that known for people so if you have any questions hey comment down below if you have if you want if you need like a, a software for for audio engineering or maybe you need a software for recording videos because a lot of help is done with communication hey i might even make a discord wink wink thank you guys for watching the video it means a lot it, it just really does and i'll catch you guys in the next one love y'all